Hello, everyone. Welcome to this amazing podcast series with JK Tech and D-Hub. This podcast series is always as special as is, as it is since uh, the beginning of uh, the series. And uh, why? Because we talk about business, technology, and the amalgamation of both of them uh, into these podcasts. And as always, we have our experts uh, coming on the panel, speaking about what the technologies are all about, uh, what is the Im implementation of that technology within the industry and how do we take it ahead uh, in the future. And uh, for today's podcast, this topic is again very special to us uh, because it talks about the current status quo of uh, the business and the industry and where the industry goes for further in the future. We talk about data analytics and data transformation today. And uh, to talk about data analytics, data transformation, who better than uh, Deep Thapial of uh, JK Tech? I'm glad that we have Deep um, on, on the panel. A little bit about Deep, although there's a lot that I can talk about, but just to summarize it, um, you know, in a line or two, I would say that Deep is a business, currently is the business head of uh, North America at JK Tech. And having been associated with the company for two years, he brings overall 30 years of experience in information technology. And that includes wide expertise in digital and business transformation, digital solutions, big data, analytics space for, for that matter. And he has played leadership roles in large corporations like Tata Consultancy Services, HCL Technologies, Sintel, and uh, Birlasoft, to name a few, uh, across multiple ge geographies, including North America's, Asia, Pacific, and India. I would really like to welcome Deep. Really a pleasure having you on the panel with us. Thank you, Ayush. Truly appreciate it. Thanks for having me here. Wonderful. So Deep, uh, today we are going to get deeper into what data analytics uh, role into data transformation is. And uh, there, there are a series of a few questions uh, that, that I have in mind. But again, uh, if, if it comes to you, I can't just go question by question. It is, um, you know, I, I would see it as a learning phase, a learning curve for myself. And whatever, uh, you know, question uh, uh, comes to my mind, I'll be, you know, really glad to hear your opinion and your perspective on it. So uh, what do you say? Uh, good time to start right now. Can we... Can, can, can absolutely, I Ayush. Absolutely. You know, just, just before we start, I want to say that the topic is a um, sig significantly large topic, okay? It, it, it's not easy to cover it all in a short duration. However, we'll do the best we can. And again, uh, in full disclosure, I don't consider myself an expert on data transformation or analytics. These are all motherhood statements. They include, you know, a whole lot of uh, factors and variables. What we'll try and address to the best of our capabilities. How about that? Absolutely. You, I, I would say you are being humble here, Deep, because I've I've gone through your cred credentials. I've been following you in the past as well, and I know that how you've brought uh, so much transformation within, uh, you know, for the clients uh, across your stints and across the geographies that you worked in. So for me, it's it's going to be a, a learning journey for sure. These, um, you know, the, the 10, 20 probably minutes that are coming our way next. And I'm sure it will be the same for the listeners as well. So I and, just... and for me as well. And for me as well. <laughs> I always say we learn from each other. So we'll all learn together today. How about that? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'll, I'll just, uh, you know, start off uh, for, for the benefit of all and for the benefit of me, I start off with the very fundamental, the base line of uh, the entire podcast, which is uh, the, the, to, the topic of the day, right? Which is increasing the efficiency of analytics through data transformation. So, you know, if you can throw some light on the fundamentals of it, how do you want to, you know, proceed towards it? And how is, according to you, the efficiency of analytics through data transformation is increasing over time? Yeah, uh, I use when I read the topic, right? Increasing the efficiency of analytics through data transformation. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't, you know, stop thinking that the fact is that the goal of data transformation is analytics. Well, let's understand that. So uh, the reason the organizations deal, try to address data transformation is so that they can get to better business insight. So, you know, data transformation done right will automatically lead to better business insights or actionable insights or efficient analytics. Call it in whichever uh, phrases you want to call. But that is the essence of data transformation. And secondly, this is nothing new. Businesses have been calling it informed decision making forever. I mean, this was the phrase, you know, 20 years ago. Phrase forever. You know, you make better decisions when you have all the information. The more we know, the better our decisions are. And the process of converting information or data 
because information is data. The process of converting information or data to insights is what analytics enables. Absolutely, Deep. I, I would call it okay. the most uh, comprehensible uh, language that you can explain it to. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. And that makes it no, very no problem. Easy. And you know. I, I just want to make sure that it, we keep the the uh, topic simple so that it's easy to understand, right? Because the jargons get thrown everywhere. And, you know, just going back to it, insights are only as good as the data we ingest, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever information is available, only based on that, we can create insights, correct? And data in most organizations typically still sits in different silos, right? It's sitting in different corners of the organization. And that is the real challenge, right? How do we get to the data that's sitting in various pockets across the organization? And facilitating the access to this data through streamlining, structuring, and modeling allows those insights to be richer and more actionable. Of course, I'm representing JK Tech here. We are at the forefront of data transformation for the last few years. We've been offering this kind of innovative data-centric technologies and solutions to our customers uh, you know, to, to great success. Amazing to know. that That's great to know, uh, Deep. And I've been also following what uh, JK Tech is doing throughout uh, you know, these years through, across clients, across geographies on uh, on this front and you know it's really impressive and uh, you know probably we, we can talk about what jk tech has as a current status quo offering and uh, furthermore would like to add in the future would like to really under, uh, understand it better towards the end of the podcast again uh, you know i i would be at a, at the fundamental stage at uh, you know i would say i would call it ground zero uh, you know by asking you a very basic question and you might think that it's it's a very lame and basic question coming your way but i would call it uh, for the betterment of for, for the benefit of myself and the the audience here um you know if you can throw some light on what exactly is data transformation and why do you think it's really required again i use firstly there are no lame questions right they never are um, you know, the lamer they are, the better they are, because, you know, that's, um, you know, we're, that's how we learn. That's how we get to know. So the basic, they, I don't call them lame, they, I call it basic questions. The basic questions are what help us understand the, the topics. So on the subject of data transformation, if you, you know, in today's language, right? And, um, you know, I've been around for a while, so I use both today's language and the language of the past. But in today's language, data transformation is the process of converting, and each word is important, so let's get this right, is the process of converting, cleansing, and structuring data into, in structuring data into what? Into a usable format that can be analyzed to support decision-making, and thus propel the growth of an organization. Now that, in today's definition, is data transformation. So what are we really saying? We have the information. How do we convert it, clean it, and structure it so that it is given to the decision maker, which is still a manual process, understand what that insight is showing so that a better decision can be made, thus helping the organization to grow, right? So what is data transformation doing? It is essentially helping make the data better organized. Because transform data, or when I say transform data, you have to think of it as like better modeled, better structured data is easier for both humans and systems to use. Businesses are constantly looking for an edge to be more competitive, right? Every business needs to be more profitable, have more revenue, right? So over the last two decades, businesses have collected immense proportions of data. The challenge is who will use this data better to their advantage? So today, that is the competition. Organizations across industries need to assess business trends, customer behaviors, and all other variables like that. And the data-driven insights give a significant edge over the competition. So that's the challenge today, right? That's why data transformation has become so important because data is sitting there and businesses that are using that data better are going to be more competitive in the future because data transformation enables businesses to give proper direction to their business activities for optimizing their operations, right? They also increase customer engagement. They increase revenue if you implement the right market strategies. So typically data, like I mentioned earlier, right? Data is sitting in various silos in different corners of the organization. And that is one, which is existing data. There is also data pouring in every day from various sources. And on top of that, businesses go out and acquire other companies, which have their own data pockets sitting all around the place. So data compatibility is a constant challenge. Data transformation process bridges this gap of data compatibility by allowing businesses 
to transform data from one source in a manner, or any source for that matter, in a manner that can be integrated, stored, validated, and eventually mined for useful business decisions. And that really is what data transformation is all about. And that's why you need it. Wow, absolutely, Deep. Absolutely. And I like the perspective how you see data as a key asset for in, for any organization. And I, I would say that uh, from your perspective, I can clearly see that uh, it's an asset for across organization, across industries, across uh, problems that they're solving and across geographies. So I really like that perspective of, uh, of that emphasis on data, uh, which is utilized right now and sitting idle uh, within companies also, but emphasis on data as an asset overall. So this is, this is a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, I said, I would say perspective to towards data. So you did mention how we, you know, look at data and transform data overall, right? That that's, that's for, you know, that's an holistic process that, uh, our data goes through, uh, for it to become uh, useful and insightful. If, if I go a little, uh, you know, technical and who better than you to address that question, I would, uh, you know, like to understand your perspective on what, according to you, is the most optimum approach for data transformation? Is it on-premise, cloud-based, manual, or any other uh, such approach? Yeah. So, Ayush, first of all, again, uh, don't call me technical because that will, um, you know, um, uh, irritate the data scientists and data engineers that are sitting in my company because those are the technical people. I do have the concepts and I understand it to a certain degree. So I'm happy to share what I'm saying, but would run away from being called a technical person on this. However, on this question that you asked, what's the most optimum approach? I'd say today, it may still be a toss-up between an on-prem or a cloud-based approach, right? Depending on where an organization is in their transformation journey. However, what is crystal clear at this point in time is, if you're not on cloud, then you're likely getting left behind because cloud is a stepping stone for any organization's digital transformation journey and there is no running away from it, okay? Having said that, I believe depending on the objective of the business while embracing data transformation and the progress that the organization has made in the digital transformation journey, there may still be multiple viable options in the short term. And I say that with emphasis, only in the short term. There are five key factors to consider anyway when you do any of this. You know, you have to look at deployment, control, security, compliance, and finally cost. So depending on the priorities and where they are in their digital transformation journey, we may recommend a best approach for the client that's between, that could be on-prem, it could be cloud-based, it could be you know, um, any of those five factors that I talked about, right? However, having said that, to be ready for the next decade, organizations must adapt to the fast-changing technologies. If you're seeking prompt and prompt transition and agility, cloud is the answer. If you're looking for lower upfront capital requirements, cloud is the answer. Well, you also mentioned manual, I think, somewhere. And manual data transformation may still be relevant in specific scenarios, but today though, those are, are likely to be few and far between. Manual anyway sounds like a last generation thing, right? These days, I mean, who's doing manual? There are specific scenarios that may that it may still be relevant. So we typically don't make that uh, judgment upfront till we have understood the ecosystem of the uh, the client to understand what would work in their scenario. Oh, great, great perspective to it, Deep. And uh, Deep, uh, one one challenge that uh, you know probably the industry see in cloud when we are talking about cloud in specific is of obviously uh, it's cost effective, it's scalable in itself. The deployment is much easier. But from a security perspective, how do you think that uh, you know uh, enterprises like JK Tech are coming into play? That uh, while it's on cloud, it's uh, it's secure as well. So how how do you think that? Uh, you know, well, you know the cloud is now enterprise class. There is no uh, concern around security on cloud. I mean, uh, if there ever was a concern, we wouldn't have AWS, Azure, and Google uh, growing at the pace that which they are growing on cloud. Uh, you know, security is enterprise class. Compliance is enterprise class. In fact, better and and uh, you know, for most organizations, I don't think that security is a concern at all. It's not even a question. For those who have moved ahead in that digital transformation journey and are experiencing how cloud can transform their organizations, you know, this is a question that kind of uh, was a milestone maybe uh, eight years ago. 
<laughs> sure thing. Uh, yes yes absolutely the yeah the 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 way the cloud is uh, has been scaling up of course uh, this is a question of the past for sure makes complete sense and uh, now now i you know really would like to understand your uh, perspective on uh, data transformation shaping modern analytics right so this is an integration of data transformation which is a traditional concept now is if we look at it uh, how is it going ahead and shaping the uh, uh, shaping modern analytics per se like i had said at the very beginning analytics is the end goal for data transformation the more modern the data engineering and data sciences uh, capabilities become the more modern analytics is likely to be so data transformation strategies and technologies have significantly evolved over the last decade or two today the ability to move from etl to elt has allowed us to get right to the insights and faster because of the more evolved data science practices around structuring and modeling analytics can allow us to monitor a continuous pulse of the organization to achieve business objectives it is the power to answer fundamental questions like not only what is happening but what is expected to happen and why right which is the predictive part of the analytics where we look at not just the historical data and the current trends uh, you know but a multitude of other variables and factors to identify what could potentially happen business users may ask and discover answers to any question with data at any time because of this phenomenal growth that we have seen in modern analytics it uses data transformation to help companies make most of the massive volumes that we you know i mentioned this earlier how much how much data today is sitting right so what is already there what is pouring in existing and new information that is coming in how businesses can use this to their advantage it has significantly involved this was inconceivable 10 years ago but today it's possible and all of this can be accomplished by using existing investments expanding capabilities through the addition of cutting edge technologies and tools you know you don't even have to replace current data systems they sit right on top of it to get you to those insights and you know that's a significant advancement in the way data transformation is being addressed right and in the way modern analytics has come about mm, impressive the 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 that is a uh... again uh, an eye opener for me as well uh, in terms of uh, you know that that perspective that you come up with uh, and and as deep i initially i also um, you know i was i'm really intrigued about the fact that how uh, you know jk tech is enabling the entire ecosystem of data, uh, data analytics and data transformation i'm i'm really intrigued about the kind of services uh, uh, that jk tech is currently offering in the uh, ecosystem and to what all kinds of industries or sectors per se if you can throw some light on that as well data transformation analytics is nothing new we have been doing this for many years we just have found better ways doing this so it becomes sharper you know just like how uh, televisions have gone from the granularity that they were in to now 4k and beyond right it's you can now see uh, the minutest of details that's really what has happened in data transformation and analytics space as well it has just gone hd and beyond okay so what do i mean at the end of it why is this data transformation analytics needed it is for one single reason for businesses to stay competitive and for business to stay competitive they need or they need to cover what i call the three legged stool number one identify cost and time savings because that goes towards the bottom line of your pnl find new revenue streams because that goes to the top of your uh pnl right the top line of your pnl and one other leg which is very important is to boost customer experience because that is absolutely critical for businesses to stay relevant for the future so if this is the three legged stool right jk tech can help you with each of these cost and time savings effective capital allocation increase customer responsiveness all of that can be achieved through smart data practices so in today's day and age customer is knowledge knowledgeable they, you know everybody has google you know you go to a doctor you already know what your symptoms are and what you could potentially be doing that's all data and information sitting there they may not know how to use it but they have it so they are knowledgeable they have access to all the information and it influences their purchasing decisions right so to gain customers these days it is important to use a targeted individualized strategy that provides customers with what they want 
we at JK Tech have advanced frameworks in place that allow simple execution of data engineering, data science strategies to get to insights that help with that three-legged stool I mentioned. And we do this with our clients in retail, CPG, manufacturing, healthcare, insurance, and those are the industries that we primarily focus on. And we offer industry-specific analytic solutions to enable a faster time to market and improved efficiency. JK Tech has targeted solutions and services to offer industries to handle their business challenges and map their data assets to create value. At the bottom of it all, you know, what I would like to say is that JK Tech today is a pure data sciences, data transformation and analytics company. And we have the ability to use the, the evolution of data sciences, data engineering and analytics to the benefit uh, of our uh, clients and partners. Amazing. Does that Yes, yes, absolutely, Deep. And it's uh, it's great to know uh, about the contributions of uh, leaders like yourself and uh, large enterprises like JK Tech, uh, you know, with, within this uh, ecosystem, within the industry overall, and how they enable key technologies like data transformation and data analytics for industries. And, uh, you know, this, this is a, a great uh, learning curve. As I said, I it is clearly what uh, I believe that it would be. This is a, a an amazing learning journey this you know past 10 20 minutes has been really uh, enlightening for me i would say thank you so much uh, deep for that i will uh, you know we will try to keep the uh, the series on data transformation ongoing and to keep engaging with you with more insightful uh, podcasts in the future so that uh, myself and the listeners of this podcast can gain more knowledge around uh, these technologies yeah so i'd really mm -hmm. like to thank you for your time and overall contribution within this uh, podcast ayush it's been my pleasure thank you very much for your time and for giving me the opportunity to share what little I know on the subject. Thank you, Deep. Have a great day ahead. Thank you. Take care. Bye.